Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video, and it is the top 5 mods of the week, episode 184. And I've got 5 really cool mods to share with you this week, but before we do take a look at this week's mods, make sure you do subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss next week's episode. Let's get into this week's mods, and kicking off the top 5 countdown this week, in 5th place is the Galactic tonight from Kirby Kerboso. This replaces the character model of Yoda and it actually works quite well. Not only does it change the character model but it does also change Yoda's lightsaber blade and you can see that it's no longer green but it is pink which is cool. In fourth place this week we've got another character replacer from Kirby Kerboso and this is the Omnidroid from The Incredibles replacing BB-8. Yes that's right this is another fun mod and it literally changes BB-8's character model and works well, especially with his second ability that has the cables, but in this one, it uses the arms of the Omnidroid. There is actually two versions of this mod included. There is one with the blue lights on the head and one with the reds, so you can pick and choose whichever one you want. This mod just works well and is funny with the front end animation and the spinning ability. It's just great. In the third place this week, I've got the Darth D score mod from Zenga. So this mod replaces Darth Maul with a Sith Inquisitor from Star Wars The Old Republic. And it also includes a bunch of features that is not just a character model swap. So as you can see, the character model has been changed along with the lightsaber hilt and has this really cool looking double-ended lightsaber. To go with the lightsaber, there is a custom icon in the respawn menu, along with a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menu menus. There is text edits in those menus and custom star card images to go with them all. The intro and outro music has been replaced with the Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Inquisitor theme and there is over 100 voice lines taken from The Old Republic replacing the emotes and voice lines of Darth Maul. So here's some of them as emotes. That's not fear I smell is it? There will be no survivors. Your defiance is foolish and misplaced. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> the runner-up for this top five Mars the Week episode is the Instant Action Mall's Death Watch Super Commando Reinforcement from Sergeant Rooftop. So this mod adds a brand new reinforcement into Star Wars Battlefront 2 thanks to the Frosty Alpha and Instant Action Overhaul mod. So this is a brand new Clone Wars era reinforcement and it has a bunch of features. You do get this Mandalorian character model to play around with, but there is also the custom Westar 35 blaster pistol, which you use as the primary weapon. Then for the abilities, there is the jetpack ability, and the middle ability is a helmet scanner, and the right ability is combat shield. There is also custom sound effects for that Westar 35 blaster pistol, which is so nice to hear. <laughs> There is a couple of UI tweaks, so there is a custom portrait image for the respawn menu, along with custom text edits as well. The winner of this top 5 Mod of the Week episode is the Instant Action Incinerator Trooper from This Guy 446. This is yet another brand new reinforcement coming to Star Wars Battlefront 2 that does not replace another reinforcement already in the game. So thanks to the Frosty Alpha and Instant Action Overhaul, you're able to add a brand new reinforcement to the Empire. This is the Incinerator Trooper from The Mandalorian. And as you can see, there is this cool custom model for the character and the flamethrower, but it does not stop there because the abilities are seriously awesome. But before we do get into the abilities, let's talk about UI tweaks. So there is a custom portrait image for the respawn menu, along with text edits and a new icon for the flamethrower in the respawn menu. And there is also new icons for the abilities. And let's talk about those. So the primary weapon is the flamethrower that is more powerful than the first order flamethrower, but it does overheat faster. Then the first proper ability is the implosive charge, which basically is a fire grenade that will blind enemies within the blast radius as well. You can throw it and then you press the button again and it will detonate it. Then next up is the projectile toggle. So this is a different mode for the flamethrower. It allows you to shoot fiery projectiles with good accuracy far away. And it's pretty cool. It also has a real nice sound effect. 
It's pretty deadly and definitely worth checking out. This, this is a personal shield with a little bit of an extra feature. So it gives you a speed boost for a short time, allowing you to get away. Which were your favorite mods this week? Let me know down in the comment section below. And remember, you can download all of these mods for yourself using the links in the description. Remember to vote for your favorite mod this week in the community tab poll. Just head on over to my channel, go to the community tab and the poll will be there. And let's now take a look at the results of last week's poll because 4,000 of you voted and the winner with 60% was the Mandalorian Captain Rex mod. Then in second place was the Magna Guard with 15%. Then in third place we have Salacious B. Crumb at 9% and in joint fourth position we have Darth Nox and the Artillery Trooper with 8% so it's pretty close again this week. Do you want to watch these episodes before anybody else? Consider becoming a channel member, hit that join button and you'll get a bunch of perks including these episodes before anybody else and you will also be entered into a giveaway because we're doing a channel member giveaway for this month so you want to make sure you're entered in that. If you did enjoy this video please do drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already and check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you didn't miss them and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.